Welcome back trainers, my name is Inky, and today we'll be looking at some of my favorite animations in Pokemon Sword and Shield specifically. And I have to say that there are too many, so it's possible that I missed a couple. So if you don't see a move that you like, leave your suggestions in the comments down below. And the only restrictions for today is no legendary signature moves, because that's an entire list for another day. So, with all that said, and in no particular order, let's add them into the Inky decks. And oh, before you leave the video, did you know that Pluto is not only not a planet, but it's also smaller than Russia? Anyway, let's continue with the video. Retaliate. Something that I just love is the samurai style in video games. And having a move that looks just like a scene taken from a samurai movie, it's just perfect. Let alone the fact that it's a really good move that can become even more powerful and stylish if an ally has been fated just before the move is used. No retreat. Something that I like a lot about a move is when they manage to convey all that feeling of power and badassness even when the move is not an attack itself. And having a move that literally is an Spartan war cry is one of the most badass things in Pokemon games. Now I only wish it was not a signature move so that other Pokemon can actually use it too. Hyper Beam This move has been one of the most amazing ones ever since Gen 1, and Gen after Gen it just gets better. And the animation used in Sword and Shield not only looks cool, but it feels so powerful, especially when used on a low level Pokemon. By the way, there's absolutely no way that that Wingle is not absolutely dead. Anchor Shot I actually never used Delmice and even though I like its design when it was unveiled, I never thought too much about him, until I saw for the first time this signature move. It just... I, I don't know, I just thought it looked amazing and it looked really detailed for a regular Pokemon, you know, like not a mythical or legendary one, so it was a nice surprise. Explosion My god do I love to blow stuff up. And to do it in a way that delivers an incredible attack, it's just amazing. Added to that the hilarious auto-destruction detail of the move, I just find it chaotic and extremely funny. Grab Apple. Come on, look at it. It's so intricate and an amazing reference. It has style, it has power, and it's from one of the best new Pokemon. Yeah, perhaps the animation is a little bit too long, but it's just really pretty to look at. Meteor Assault Power, style, and one of the cheekiest looks in a Pokemon. Meteor Assault is a powerful move in more than one sense, and with a scrappy ability, it's just fun to hit everything with it and watch it go down. Sometimes. And the fact that it has a recharge time, it's not too cool though. Moonlight this is one of the moves that I really like because some of my favorite Pokemon learn it and it helps them a lot, really. Not only that, but it's just a really pretty light show. And it's a move that's more dynamic in its functionality. As a side note, I consider Wish in this exact same category and they're so alike that I don't feel bad grouping them together here. Snipe Shot I have to confess that this move has grown on me a lot. All the signature moves of the starter tree are just amazing and so much so that I jump from one to another as my favorite every now and then. But for now, the movie-like look in Italian is just too good to ignore. Water Sprout Something that I love about this move that I would like to see implemented in other moves is the multiple camera angles that are used to emphasize the power and magnitude of the move. I particularly like the last camera angle and the water fade it creates. Well, that's all I have for today. Like I said, if there is a move that you wish to see, leave it in a comment. And if the video does well enough, I'll consider doing a sequel. Don't forget to share the video and subscribe. This has been Inky, and until next time.